Hello guys and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at what a reunited German Empire would look like. First off, the Empire would have an area of 3,199,000 square kilometers, which would make it the 8th largest globally. It would be ahead of Argentina, but behind India in terms of land size. Now, onto its economy. A reunited German Empire would have an economy of four trillion eight hundred seventeen billion seventy million dollars, making it the world's fourth largest economy. But considering Germany is already the world's fourth largest economy, the added territory wouldn't even help the empire reach third. In fact, ninety two point five percent of this economy would be solely German, with only three percent being from outside of Europe. Its GDP per capita would only be $23,225.99, making it the 61st largest in the world, just behind Antigua and Barbadua. The population of the new empire would be 207,400,000, the 7th largest in the world, just beating Nigeria, but behind Brazil and Pakistan. Germany would be the largest country in this empire, followed by Tanzania, Cameroon and the parts of Poland, which would probably be renamed to East Prussia. What's interesting is that Namibia, one of the empire's largest territories, would only have a population of 2.5 million, more than three times less than Togoland's population. The largest cities in this empire would be Dar es Salaam with 6.7 million, Berlin with 3.5 million, Hamburg with almost 1.8 million, Munich with 1.4 million, and Douala with 1.3 million. I think the capital of this new empire, however, would be Berlin, since it was the historic capital of the empire, and the capital of modern-day Germany. Now we reach language. 38.1% of the population would be able to speak German, 18.8% would be able to speak French, 9.6% Swahili, 7.9% Polish, and 6.3% English, with 19.3% being a mix of other languages. Finally, we reach religion. Catholics would make up 31.1% of the population, atheists 18.7%, Protestants 15%, Sunni Muslims 14.4%, Orthodox would make up 6.8%, African folk religions would make up 3.1%, and other religions would make up only 1%. This concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And with that, I'll end the video. Thanks for watching!